G'day everyone, how's it going? Today I want to bring you my top five peaceful cichlids for your community aquarium. So most of the time you'll think that cichlids are very aggressive and can't be with any other fish, they have to be in a solitary tank. That's not necessarily true because I've got a few tips to make these fish on the list a lot more peaceful, but they already are very peaceful. Make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss out on any five fish and consider subscribing so I do weekly cram videos just like this, but without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we get into the list, some things we want to consider when we're getting these cichlids and putting them in a community aquarium. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to know is when we do get some of these fish that we only want to get one of them. If it's going to be for a community aquarium, especially if it's a bit smaller than the preferred tank size, then I highly recommend you just get one. Otherwise, what will happen if you get two or more, they'll pair off when they're matured and they will start breeding. And when cichlids pair and breed, they get really aggressive and they attack all the other fish. So to prevent that from happening, simply just get one. There is one fish on the list that does prefer to be in a group and I'll let you know when uh, that fish does come up but the rest of the fish do pair off pretty easily. Now my second thing I want you guys to consider when you're getting any of these five cichlids is that there's going to be different types of community aquariums so we're not just expecting this one community aquarium full of rasboras and all sorts of little fish. A lot of the cichlids on the list get pretty big and so you're going to need a big aquarium and when it comes to big aquariums and a bigger fish then a community tank for these cichlids are more like a medium to large sized fish sort of community tank. We do have some small ones on the list though so you can and have like a 20 gallon or under for these fish but I'll let you guys know on the specifics on all these fish so with that all aside let's get straight into it. Alright so number one on the list we have the ram cichlids. So ram cichlids are super cute. They've got great personalities and they're a micro geophagus. So this means earth dweller and basically what an earth dweller is in fish is basically they're going to be at the bottom of the tank almost all the time especially when feeding and they're going to be excavating the substrate out and digging holes not just for breeding sites but just to create territories when you just have one of these cichlids they're going to be very peaceful but otherwise this is a sort of fish that'll group up if you have two or more or you have a mix of male and females so don't get more than one if uh, you don't have the room if you have like a 20 gallon or 15 gallon one is just fine but back to earth dweller basically with a sub substrate for these guys you want to have sand or dirted substrate or a bare bottom tank those are really the only options I would put for a ram cichlid because what they'll do is they'll kind of put the substrate in the mouth and they'll kind of put it aside and dig these holes when you have gravel they can choke on it easily if it goes down their throat or when it goes through the gills and that means that they're gonna die of course so fine sand and fine dirt will be made really easy for the ram cichlid to excavate otherwise they'll just choke on it so that's my tip for the ram cichlids and there's much more care videos on it too but if you have a planted aquarium with small to medium sized aquarium fish this is a perfect fish for your community aquarium and they really do pop out with the more plants you have they tend to be more colorful really easy fish to find and really fun to keep okay so we have an african cichlid next we have the crebensa cichlids now i honestly used to think it was an american cichlid but it's actually african and these are a very cool fish so underrated and they do have very cool coloration and patterning it is not like the most colorful popping fish but they do have very great personalities and once again like with the ram cichlids they do tend to pair off when you have a male and a female in a tank so once again try just get one for your community aquarium since they get to about 10 centimeters you'll want a 20 gallon or larger you can have a 20 gallon for just one crebensis but if you have more than one then i recommend a 30 gallon or more now crebensis do come from africa meaning they like soft acidic water. If you can put tannins in the water, they'll look really nice and it's their sort of natural habitat. So they'll live a nice long life if you target those water parameters exactly for these fish. But they're great for planted aquariums. They might sometimes uproot plants, but they don't actually eat them. So you just need to make sure you get some plants that do grip into the substrate well. All floating plants too work great. These fish do really hang out the middle to the bottom of the aquarium. So crebensis go with your medium sized aquarium fish and they just look really cool and create great entertainment into the tank. Now you can't go wrong with the angel fish. Angel fish are super beautiful. So many varieties you can get out there and they're basically everywhere. You'll go to your big box stores and you'll see them there in all sorts of tanks. They're very beautiful and they're great for your planted aquarium and they're suitable for your medium sort of aquarium fish. And they can kind of go with some small fish, but I reckon fish that's five or six centimeters or bigger should just be fine with angelfish. Angelfish are super cute in my opinion and they got such great personalities. So when you do get them in the aquarium, they are very tall fish. So you wanna have a tank that's gonna give them enough space to turn around and also for their fins to stretch out because you wanna have a tall aquarium and their fins are very tall and long. These fish are also another fish that you don't wanna get a group of if you're putting them in a community aquarium because 
I'm telling you, angelfish, when they pair up, they get so aggressive and they'll pair for life. So they won't be happy if you separate them. I recommend you just get one or two for your aquarium. Hope they're both the same gender and or just get a mix of different types because usually different species of angelfish don't mix well and pair off as easily. So try angelfish if you have the room and you have fish that aren't too small for the angelfish so that the angelfish will not eat them. And just a very cool, easy to find aquarium fish. Okay, so now we're talking about a larger community aquarium with larger fish and maybe even predatory fish. I'm talking the larger tetras and that sort of stuff for tank mates with this fish. We have next up the severums. Severums are a grouping fish. I wouldn't say schooling fish because they're not always schooling. They'll scatter around the aquarium. Severums are an American cichlid. They come from the Amazon and bodies of water that stretch out of the Amazon too. They love soft acidic water, but they also do great in the high ranges too. So really they're fine with any pH. Severums are great for your Congo tetras, your pistogrammas, any of your like medium to large sort of aquarium fish, especially your Central American cichlids, they do great with severums too. But since severums do like to be in groups, I recommend five or more. They won't pair off as easily like other fish. They won't get too aggressive. So you won't need to worry about that too much. If you do get pairs, you might need to separate them, but that's the cost with these fish. I recommend a 70 gallon or larger for a group of severums because they can get up to eight inches each. And that's really big. Usually in captivity, they'll only get to about five to six some plants will be eaten by the severums and some plants won't so you'll have to kind of debate and if you don't want any of your expensive live plants to die don't get this fish or just change to plastic plants that are realistic looking. So pretty similar body shape to the Severums. Last on the list we have discus. So really the thing is what people miss with the discus and why they don't buy it is because people say you have to do a 40% water change every day to keep discus. Now I myself haven't kept discus or never have kept discus but it's simple science. All you need to have a healthy discus or group of discus is to just keep the nitrate down at about 10 to 15 parts per million or lower and keep the ammonia all the way down and the nitrites all the way down. If you don't know much about water chemistry, it's basically about like the water quality. Nitrate is just like how much poop and waste and bio load is in the tank. If it's too much, the nitrate's high. But if it's fine, then the nitrate will be about 20 parts per million or lower. Ammonias and nitrites are very dangerous for your fish and will kill them. They'll burn the fish's gills and that sort of thing, especially that ammonia. Stay away from it. You can find all this out in your aquarium using a freshwater test kit. You can go to your local fish store about this and they'll give you products that will test it or the fish store will test it for you, but it all depends what your fish store does of course but basically just keep the water quality nice you don't need to do water changes every day once or twice a week is fine have some nice filtration with your discus and discus are suitable for your planted aquarium just with angel fish and rainbow fish and medium sized tetras and that sort of thing and basically any fast fish too but discus can be a bit slow with feeding so if you can avoid the faster moving tetras and that sort of thing discus like to be in groups and they'll basically scatter around the aquarium they'll fill it up really nicely so you just need discus and maybe a little schooling fish and some sort of catfish at the bottom and you'll have a great centerpiece tank you want a minimum tank size of 50 gallons you want to get a group but once again this is another fish that pairs off and when they do they get very aggressive they breed very similarly to angel fish try to avoid a really big group and if you can try to get only males or only females sometimes you just will never have success with discus sometimes you will start off with one see how you go and you can move up if you do want to well thank you guys so much for watching there you have my top five peaceful cichlids for your community aquarium hope you enjoyed and if you did give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this leave your thoughts in the comments down below thank you so much have a great day and i'll see you all in the next video